Welcome everyone, I am McDougall and you are about to see another tutorial on or about Shadowrun Returns. This time I'm going to make a modding tutorial so you will learn how to um, take a 2D custom prop and get it into the game so that it displays when you actually play. Alright, this is an advanced tutorial so please check the description and if you uh, if you didn't get a custom portrait or custom loading screen into the game yet, try that at first. If you master that, then you will probably be able to get 2D custom props into the game as well. Alright, so what we have to see is we already have our props here in the asset library and usually HBS was very friendly and left the option to bring a new prop into the game. So when we uh, use this window and want to bring in a new prop, then, well, we guess at first that this should work, but actually this is not working. It's very great to have this and it's awesome because we can double click an already existing prop and see how it is used inside. We can see how the setup, we can see the bounding box and etc. All those um, all those different properties here. But it doesn't actually work to bring a new item into the game or rather a new prop. So what we want to do is to do it manually. At first we're going to take a look into our custom uh, into our content pack and here we need two folders. One folder is called art and the other folder is called data. In the art folder we need to create a folder that's called like the folder in which the prop we want to use as base is located. I'm going to take a prop from the folder by a pike place which I'm going to show you soon. So I did create that same folder pike place in my content pack. In the data folder you want to create a folder called props. This folder is necessary so that you can place the text file that is associated to your art. Without this text file we don't have any information from that window I just showed you in the editor. So the prop won't get loaded or you will even get an error or the editor could even crash, you know. So what we want to do now is go into the Shadowrun Returns folder, Shadowrun Data, Streaming Assets, Content Packs, I uh, played this map into Seattle and because I don't want to show you everything I'm going to search for wall deck H because that's actually enough to get what I want as I said those art pieces are in the pike place folder and the other one those are those byte files or bytes files are in the in the props folder. I want to use the third wall decoration from Halloweeners and the uh, corresponding bytes file. I'm going to copy both, go back into my custom content pack, take this and place it into my pack place folder. So you can see it. As you can see it's a PNG and has no background background is translucent that is very nice about PNGs JPEGs don't have that JPEGs always give you a white background if you don't um, want any so this is the way to go I'm going to take the bytes file and place it into my props folder yeah I did a little experimenting already but today I want you to show how to bring something that's quite easy to do for everyone a graffiti I think someone who has some skill in drawing can at least bring some text or even a drawing into the game. We go back into the art folder, into the pike place folder and we are going to edit this with our f or with your favorite graphic editing software. In this case I'm using Photoshop because I'm a huge fan of Photoshop, I'm using it for several years. But you could also use programs like paint.net or 
well you shouldn't you probably you shouldn't use paint but paint.net is a free program and gimp is a free program you can also use those all those other programs as long as you can have a translucent background and save the image as png you should be alright having layers is also very appropriate because you want to do some editing so as you can see here this is our base and i also took this already took this image and prepared it a little so i got this one what i did was um bring a gray background 50% gray background in so i could see the image as best as i could turn this off bring in my drawing this is um, a gang graffiti for the gang power cell robots a gang i created myself and then we have when you have this image we have to distort it a little so that it actually as you can see aligns with the image you're using what you want to do is if you're going to want to you uh, want to bring in a graffiti you should use an in-game graffiti if you want to bring in a wall you should use and edit an in-game wall so this is it is very important because we can't properly edit the files that you are using a file that resembles the that thing that you want to do as best as possible we got hundreds of different props in the game already so I don't think you will have a problem finding something that fits I'm going to turn all this off now I have my image I'm going to save it as my working folder in the art folder pike place I don't want it to save it as a PSD but rather as a PNG and I'm going to overwrite this yeah ah the document is already open all right that's because I know we cause this it's still in there how should it actually work art pike place PNG and save yes I want to replace it if you don't understand something it's probably because my windows is actually in German as you can hear I'm German yeah alright so I got this done yeah next thing you want to do is I took the add2x file there are I think for all files there are those with normal resolution those with double resolution you want to edit the one with the double resolution so that you are actually working at a better quality but if you uh, take just that then it won't display properly into game uh, in the game so what you want to do after you have everything done go to 50% scale down then go back into your art folder once again save it as PNG and here delete this add to X oh, I should actually delete this as well that was from my PSD file. Delete this and then you're good to go. Yeah. The next thing you want to do is if I would use this these files then they would overwrite the files that are actually already in the game. Because this is the Pike Place War Decoration Halloween S03. I have to use the proper name because if I just change one letter in this name then it won't display in the editor and most likely give me a crash what you can do though is to say hey there are three Halloweeners war decorations so let this be number four if this is number four then everything is alright could probably be number 48 too but <laughs> I don't think I'm going to create those many graffitis. Take this, also rename it to Halloween 04 and now it's going to get tricky. You have to use an hex editor to open the sprites file. I use the hex editor HXD. You can use whatever hex editor you feel like using but you should really use a hex editor. I tried editing that, uh, that with the normal text editor from Windows. It saved 
but when I tried to open it in the game it also resulted in a crash. So this is the way to go. When it comes to H -X uh, HXD it actually cr usually creates a bug file. I turned that off but when you got that bug file or bug file you have to select it and delete it manually. And when you want to create another file like a PSD file in your arts folder you should move that or delete that as well. Because if you leave those games then the editor will also throw an error that there are files that it doesn't recognize. Recognize. So what you want to do find the name of the file your this file is looking for and rename it to what you renamed it for and the mirrored one as well for save this go out and if I didn't forget anything if I refresh this I should help have my custom graffiti can place it bring it to the proper place we can also rotate it using R and when I save this and <laughs> I love it alright it crashed let's see if I can do it now quite interesting that crash actually that's another experiment of mine it's not finished yet so it does display when I'm going to a higher main character. Alright, I load a scene. Yeah, I'm going to be Christoph because Christoph rocks. And as you can see, it properly displays. There you have it. A nice custom gravity inside Shadowrun returns. Alright, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And I hope you will find it useful and be able to bring text or graffitis into the game like I did it. And that we are going to get better runs because of that. If you have questions, feel free to ask me. Feel free to comment, like and subscribe. And, very important for me, please, tell me what do you want to see next. Which, what do you want me to cover next. I'd very like... Uh, <laughs> I'd like to know that because I want to make tutorials that actually uh, are of value to, new, uh, to you not just things that I want to do alright and of course feel free to come to Shadowrun.com where all the Shadowrun info is and where a lot of awesome people are having a lot of awesome conversations about your favorite franchise